Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bats Basics. It has certainly been a while, and sadly, our cities are falling deeper into anarchy. Sadly, everywhere you go, we have cheaters, thieves, murderers, botters, the true scum of society. But that's okay. We are going to be strong. Strong enough not to fall victim to the scum of society. And for that, we must have constant vigilance. Some of them, some of them you can avoid. Take this guy, for example. Suppose you were playing against someone with this record and these amazing win streaks. Either this is a person who is very good at the game, or maybe he's a cheater or a botter. Him you can avoid with constant vigilance. But the thieves and the murderers, they are more difficult. But don't worry. I will show you today how not to fall victim to these people. This person is challenging me to a game 1033. I will take a corner for myself and I see that he does as well. This is good, nice, peaceful game, but don't be fooled. They always reveal themselves in the end. I will approach, expanding my territory, and he puts pressure on me. Hmm. Does he want a fight? Is that what he wants to do? That is okay. There is a Jiseki here we can play, and this Jiseki will give us a nice, even result. As you can see, I'm getting much on the outside. Too much, perhaps. But it is what he wanted to give me. He gets the corner, I get the outside, and now I'm developing more influence. I like this. Perhaps he is not a thief or a murderer. Perhaps he simply likes living small. He wants to be unnoticed. He wants to go through life not getting in anyone's way. This is a player we can respect. He approaches me. I will back off and keep my corner, like so. And now, since we have Sente, we must ask ourselves, where is the next largest point on this board? Oh, well, I would say approaching the lower right-hand corner, sir. I wasn't asking you. Well then, sir, who, who mask were you asking? I was asking them. Who? Go away. The next largest point, as was spoiled for you, was approaching the corner. I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. He pincers me. It would appear I'm interested in influence this game, so I shall jump out and see what he wants to do. Again with the low stones. Nice, calm. Unfortunately, a little bit too passive. Perhaps he needs some more motivation in life. He seems to be too passive. How odd. I suspect this is a player who's been taken advantage of by murderers and thieves many a time, and 
And now he is scared to be bold. It is sad, but it will be a very good learning experience for all of you. Here you can see we are jumping out because we are interested in the middle. And without being too greedy, I can build off of my walls while he simply lives like so. He didn't defend himself. Oh dear, this poor man refuses to defend himself. Clearly, he's been beaten up too many times. But do not worry, sir. We are not here to kill you. I am simply here to build my territory. Nothing else. All I want is to grab an area for my fair city. What? He is attacking me. Very well. I don't think he's going to like this result. Trying to cut through these one point jumps is very, very bad. As you can see, he tries to kill one of my stones. But look at the men he loses in the process. Hmm. Very, very sad. My corner is under attack. We shall defend it, like so. He is trying to kill one of my stones. I shall defend him too. And again with the peeps. Tell you what, let us make certain that we are fine and connect all of my stones together. This way, we are nice and strong. Always beware of falling for your opponent's traps of playing small moves, defending small areas. This can easily lead to your downfall, and that is not what we want you to see. But where will he play next? That is the question. What? What should he do? Oh, I should think reduce the left hand side, sir. Again, we weren't talking to you. We were talking to them. Who, who's this them? The people who are watching. What? Go away. Ah, sorry. Sometimes it is difficult to find good help nowadays. I have some amount of time left, but I cannot quite make out the numbers. But this is fine. I trust I have not used too much of my time. Just like so, I connect up my groups. Nice and easy. That is what we like to see around here. Simple things. The easy life, as it were. Ha, I made a joke. We will push him here, see if we can't take his stones. He says that we cannot. I will ask again. He is trying to kill me. I need to defend myself. And sadly, that defense comes at a cost. That was the wrong move. But I tell you what, I will play here in the hopes that he plays the right one so he does not actually lose all of his stones. Nice, easy life. Now, if he defends, which arguably, perhaps he shouldn't. We will play a large move over here and continue developing 
our amazing city. This is a wreck. We do not want our city to be a wreck. We want it to be glorious. And look how glorious our area is. Our stones prosper while his, his are pushed to the edges of society, struggling to make even a few points here and there. It is a sad, sad story. One we have seen too many times. I confess I am having trouble reading these without my glasses. I think I can play here. And this way, we make eyes for our group. And now I play this one, I believe. <clears throat> I hear a train. Perhaps you can too. The Atari I will respond to, for I do not want to lose my stone. Has he given us Sente? Perhaps he has, for he needs to connect. If he does, I can play here or here. So we are alive. My people have been saved. Now, he is free to develop this area, and I will continue to prosper and manage the fair stones in my city. However, I suspect he may try to invade. Hopefully not. He does not want to venture down into a life of crime by stealing that which is mine. Or does he? Well then, I think he does. But that is okay. We do not want to kill off his fair people. I shall allow him to connect these stones. Yes, there you go. A simple exchange. Your people get to live. We have no interest in killing them. Just make certain they are alive and all will be well. I will continue to develop this and be happy. That does not work. But that is okay. That is okay. I will develop this instead. Look at all of that territory. All of that is now mine. What? He's trying to steal from me again? Why? Why does he do such things? Well, because of the Aji there, sir. What? What Aji? Well, the ladder, sir. Ah, indeed. You have a good point. There is Aji here. The ladder. Yes. I see why he thinks he can get away with this now. Perhaps you can stay. Oh, I thank you, sir. Okay, the ladder has been defended. Now, now he must do something else, for surely he cannot live in this area. He cannot contaminate my city. I think this turned oddly racist. I would allow him to live here. But he was clearly trying to kill my stone and murderers and thieves need to be put where they belong, behind bars. What will you do now? That, that is the question. He is thinking 
with uh, three minutes left, I want to say. Yes. Yes, something like that. Something like that. Yes, that is three. His only hope is to try to escape the law and crash through this barricade. Then, then perhaps we will not be able to pursue. But I do not think so. The fine men and women in my city are strong. I have gone out of my way to make them strong. They will not, they will not allow this person to leave. He will serve his time. Potentially. Hmm. He is thinking. There is much to think about. Perhaps he is reflecting upon his crimes. Perhaps he is sorry that he tried to kill and steal that which belonged to me. Mm -hmm. There may be hope for him yet. It is the long shot, but we must always believe in the goodness of people. They can change if you give them a chance. Or he will sit here and let all of his time run out. Surely he will not do that. Oh dear. I think maybe he is. Ah, very well. Then we shall wait. Oh, he played a move. He's trying to take my corner. This, this is okay. He can live there. What will he do next? You see, we do not have to be jealous. A player who spends so much time thinking about what you have rarely takes the time to develop anything for themselves. We will ensure these two hoodlums do not connect. And we will do the same here. Now. Now what will he do? He tried to take all of my left hand territory. But why? I did not try to take his territory on the right. I did not try to kill anything on the bottom. I didn't even try to kill him on the top. And still. He wants everything that is mine. Hmm. A most suspicious play. But where to next? I think he isn't Biyoyomi. Only his clock. His clock does not move. What? Oh, there it goes. Where to now? Where will he play? I think he is down. Yes, he has three Biyomi periods. This is okay. I can Hane here. The ladder. The ladder is still fine for us. But now, 
that he has broken into the homes of the people in my fair city. I cannot allow him to live there. He cannot take the hard work of my law-abiding citizens. He will learn that it is wrong to take things from others. <clears throat> One eye, that is what he can get. Just enough to see the error of his ways. Meanwhile, if we get Sente, we can play up here and extend again. Now we block that off as well. I do not believe he could have lived in my corner at this point. But now I know he cannot. Mm, one liberty. Not enough room to live. He's trying to run. He cannot run away. There is nowhere to go. My city's finest will stop him. There. Now there is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. Here we shall connect. And in so doing, keep what was ours. Or, or we could let him live and teach him a more noble lesson. That a life of taking things from other people is truly not a life at all. Yes, this appeals to me. I shall play elsewhere. He lives, and we shall take everything else for us, for while he for while he was busy invading my people's homes, there is much, much we gain. There. Now. Now we are fine. And everything else is now ours. Hmm. Hmm. Here, what you must remember is you need strong men and women to defend that which is yours. So I will back off giving strength to my one stone. And I will do so again here. Nice, solid connections. Nothing to work against. No weaknesses to exploit. That is the way forward. Where? Can he get an eye? Alas, nowhere. Can he get one? I do not know. Again, nice, strong moves. That is the way forward.
See how I aid my stones. I increase their liberties. I make them stronger, proud. As we see here, he's looking for weakness, but I've trained my people well, and he will not find it. No matter how often, No matter how often he looks for weakness, tries to exploit, tries to kill my stones, it will not happen. And that is because we did not create weakness. Here. Look at the weakness he has created. He is a man divided amongst himself. I do not believe he shall be successful in finding what he seeks. We will connect. And we will connect. And just like so, we are all connected throughout the middle. This is a good lesson, I believe. If someone is trying to kill you or take that which is yours, you must remain strong. Do not give him weaknesses to exploit. Tell you what, I will allow that stone to connect to its friends. They are close after all. There you go. But yes, I believe that is a good lesson for today. What do you think? Wonderful lesson, sir. Thank you. I dare say fantastic. I get it. Why, they will absolutely love it. All right. Quite possibly the best lesson ever anyway. Fine, fine, go away. He continues to struggle, but there is not he can do. As we are witnessing here, there is simply too much. All right, we have Sente. The last thing I will do is defend this cutting point, for it is the last possible weakness on this board that he could have produced something from. And as we can see here, he has resigned. Very good. He has admitted that his life of crime simply didn't pay. Let us review. He opened up with his stone facing me, inviting me to approach. So I did. At which point, we played a simple sequence where he gets territory. I got influence. This is a good exchange. Now he should take Sente and perhaps split me here to ensure I can't get greedy and take everything for myself. But if he's worried about that already, Perhaps his response here was not good. Maybe he should back off or just take points. Whoops. Like so. If he does that, it is a much easier game for white. 
Instead, he goes down into this and decides this is a variation he does not like. And yet he's eager to keep taking territory on the right side of the board. I thought we were getting along swell until he did this and revealed his true colors. Not to worry, there is nothing he can poke against. And just like that, his stones were lost. A truly odd sacrifice. But because our shape was strong, we had nothing to fear because we were developing while we were playing. We had points, so we had nothing to fear. Let that be a lesson for you all. But for now, I must go because my eyes are actually paining me right now from staring at a screen without my glasses. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I will see you again.